Hello Earthlings! Um, I wanted to do a favorites video because I haven't done that on this channel before and I have a lot of things that have been really awesome and I wanted to share them with you today. Okay, what should I start with first? Okay, so I'm going to start with books. I have a couple books that I have been reading. Um, I haven't gotten through any of them completely, but these are the books that I've been really enjoying. Um, I don't get a lot of time for reading, but when I do, I grab these books. Um, the first one is uh, Light is the New Black by Rebecca Campbell, and it's a guide to answering your soul's calling and working your light. So basically, it's an empowering book about being a light worker and following your dreams. I haven't gotten that far into it, so I'm still working on it, but yeah, self-love all the good stuff. But I'm really, really enjoying it, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, I got this in Australia, so I'm not exactly sure how much it was. It is in American dollars, but lovely book. The next one is a book everyone should own, in my opinion, which is A New, Ar uh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. And this is about the ego and um, separating yourself from the story of your ego and the monkey mind. And it's absolutely glorious, so definitely worth checking out. It's This is life changing. This is one of those books where you read like a paragraph and you're just like, whoa, okay, whoa, clarity, like that. Okay, that should be in the review. Whoa, clarity. And the third book is The Mind Factor by Jose Aguelas, uh, Path Beyond Technology. This is the book uh, the first book, I believe, that Jose Aguales wrote on the Mayan calendar and how it has to do with um, souls coming down onto the earth, um, synchronicity, and basically how our planet runs energetically. And um, my friend Peter, he is very much into this and he's the one that got me into this. I have only read some of it, but I have like heard a lot about it, so I, I know a lot about it but I'm working on the book now. That that didn't feel like a cohesive thought, but awesome book. Um, if you're interested in consciousness and synchronicity and the Earth's things, I would check this out. Well, since we're doing paper items, um, I am going to show you the decks that I have been using. I'm currently living at my friend's house. Um, so I don't have all of my stuff with me, obviously. I have a, suit, a suitcase and a couple bags or whatever. And I have a handful of Oracle decks, but these are the ones, or decks. But these are the ones that I'm absolutely, absolutely, absolutely in love with and I go to all the time. So the first one is the Sacred Re blah, 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 blah. the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Um, I didn't bring this, did I bring this with me to Australia? No, I don't think I did. Um, and so I've really started getting back into this since getting back. Yeah, no, I don't think I did have it with me. Um, this is an amazing Oracle deck. This is about empowerment and self-love and really following your path, even if it's not the typical path. Um, this deck has been great. I've had it for a couple of years now, but um, the art is amazing. I hope that's clear. I don't know if there's nudity in this, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Just some really unique stuff. The book is really great. I actually met Alana while I was in Australia. That was really cool. So yeah, this deck is amazing if you really want to step out into your own personal soul path. Oh yeah, nudity. There it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's a really great deck. Um, that I have been delving into and it's been lovely. It's been really helping me in the last week too, specifically. All right, here's the Mayan Oracle and Galactic, uh, the, uh, la, la, a Galactic Language of Light, which this goes along with the Jose Aguelas book, um, but was not written by him. I think I have shown this deck before and, and I know I was going to post like a favorite um, Oracle decks. I put my favorite tarot decks video up and I haven't gotten to the Oracle Dex one. That is still coming, I promise. So this is the book that goes with it. This is, like, so grossly thorough. I haven't actually read the whole thing. I've been, like, going, like, when I pull a card, I'll read it. But it has all the different Mayan symbols, what they mean, the different tones. 
it's very, very complicated, and I definitely don't have uh, the resources to explain it fully. I wish Peter was here. He could give you, like, a really good thing. But this is what the deck looks like. And these each represent different um, signs in the mine. And then there's the different, um, yeah. I'm not fully versed in explaining it. I'm just really learning about it. So all I know is that it's amazing and the synchronicity of this deck and this book are unreal. So I would highly recommend it if this intrigues you at all and definitely go and do your own research. <laughs> That's all I can tell you about it, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm hoping when I go back to Australia that I can really sit down with Peter and he can explain the things to me because he is like a walking dictionary for this stuff. <laughs> so that's exciting. Okay, that was that. Alright, the next two decks, I don't have the boxes with me because they're too big. Um, but, ooh, they've kind of migrated into each other in this bag. Okay, whatever. All right, so this next one is a tarot deck. This is the, oh my god, I'm not going to remember what it is. Ah, yeah, Shadowscapes Tarot. It looks like this on the back. It's really beautiful. And this art is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. All of these decks, I highly recommend you go look them up and research them because they're beautiful. And I'm probably not doing a hugely good job, a hugely good job of explaining them. Um, but this art is stunning. I would say the only thing I actually really have against this deck, let's see the cardstock. The cardstock's not bad. Um, but the fact that the art is so amazing and the cards are so small is kind of a bummer. So if you really want to get a good look at this art, I would definitely recommend looking it up and getting closer to it like online because it's, it's definitely worth looking at. But this deck is beautiful. It's it's very gentle and ethereal, and so even if it's trying to show you something that maybe you don't want to look at, it, it does it in a kind but logical way, if that makes sense. Um, and the next one, and my all-time, well, all-time, it's my current deck that I'm going to for any deep spiritual work, especially shadow work, um, when it comes to things that I don't want to look at or um, I really need clarity in a very spiritual sense. Um, I go for the Marielle Tarot, and it's funny because my best friend's name is Marielle, but everyone calls her Marielle, and so I thought it was funny that my favorite deck, tarot deck right now, is the Marielle Tarot, because it just peeves me when people call her Marielle. That's like a whole other thing. But anyway, it comes with this amazing book. This is not a traditional Rider weight deck. It has been changed, so it's really cool to delve into it, and it's actually the first deck I've really delved into in the sense of not reading the book, but just looking at the picture and taking in the information that I intuitively pick up. So, yeah. this deck does have nudity in it, so if you don't like that, um, yeah, I would stop watching now. Okay, boobs. <laughs> I love this deck. This deck is amazing. I, I actually love nudity in decks. I think it makes a real visceral connection in the mind, and it's just absolutely amazing. I oh my god this deck is unreal it's interesting because this deck was not a deck that i was drawn to in fact every time someone would mention it i was like i just want to love that deck but i just don't connect to it and probably the last month i was in australia i saw a review for it and all of a sudden i was like oh okay it's time so when i got back to america it's pretty much the only deck i've bought since being back to the states um and it was much cheaper here in the states so that's that was exciting. It went for, it was like $70 in Australia, and I think I got it for like 30 here. So that was really a blessing. Um, but yeah, it's just a stunning deck, and I highly recommend it, but I wouldn't get it if you're not really willing to delve into it deeply. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a friendly deck, it's an honest deck, but if you're looking for something to start off with, um, I'd go with something more simple. Um, that's probably more Rider weight based. I would say this is something you probably want to delve into when you've really gotten into tarot. So yeah, really awesome deck. I adore this deck. Ghibli. Alright, so next I'm going to go into products I've been using. Um, I'm really trying to become... I've been really trying to become more aware of what I'm putting on my body, in my body, and what I'm also putting out... Um, into the water and stuff so I'm really trying to delve into products that are much more 
uh, eco-conscious and eco-friendly and all the things. So um, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> um, so I will show you kind of what I've been doing and I can do a little more information on this later if you're interested. But um, for shampoo, I'm using the, um, let's see, Shea Moisture. It looks like this. Um, this is, I had to put this in a smaller bottle, but I, I use this, it's awesome. And um, I've used a lot of it. Um, it. This is the shampoo, they have a conditioner as well, but I'm not using the conditioner, it's, it's amazing. But I'm using something else. This smell, oh my god, this smell reminds me of happiness. Like, it, just good memories and beautiful stuff. Um, this is with seed kelp and argan oil. Um, heal, grow, and strengthen, blah, blah, blah. This is sulfate free and color safe, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, so on the back it says no sulfates, no parabens, words I can't pronounce, phthalates, something like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, no paraffin, no gluten, uh, no propylene, glycol, no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, wow, that's awesome, no synthetic color, no DEA, no animal testing, this stuff is awesome, and like I said, the smell ah, is amazing, um, it is rather expensive, though this bottle is like $10, um, and I thankfully did not have to buy this, my mother had this and was like, here, have it, and I was like, thank you, mommy, you're awesome, because yeah it's expensive but i try to use a little bit so it goes a long way uh what i'm using for conditioner is actually kind of interesting it's something that i kind of had to do out of necessity i um my curly hair has been a whole thing my entire life but in the last two years it started curling like up and over and i was like what 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 is even happening right now so i've been trying everything and what seems to have worked i've actually straightened my bangs for the first time in like ages today so that's interesting but what I found is works is after I get out of the shower and I towel dry my hair gently, I will take a very small patch of coconut oil. Yeah, I am, yes, I am one of those hippies. <laughs> and I put like very tiny, I mean like it goes so far and if you put more than that it will make your hair look really greasy. And I put it down here first and then a little bit up in the roots so it's not greasy again. And I just do that and I let it dry and it has done wonders for my hair and my hair is so much softer than you see. And it smells so good. Anyway, so highly recommend this. So even if your hair is like damaged um, and you're just looking for something or you don't want to be using um, shampoos, I would suggest this and see how it works for you. Like I said, the really tiny amount because holy crap, it makes your hair look greasy if you're not careful. <laughs> Next is a company that, um, yeah. I love this company, but apparently they don't ship outside of Australia. I haven't actually looked, but when we asked, that's what I remember them saying. So, but this, I will be stocking up on this when I go back to Byron because, oh my God, this is from Thursday Plantation, Australia's original, and this is the tea tree plantation. Oh my God, this stuff is all made from their tea tree on the farm. And it is amazing. So this is vegan. This product is not tested on animals and it's made in Australia and um, you can recycle it. So this is the Hand and Body List. They have an entire shop just full of their stuff. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, maybe if they get a lot of emails from outside the country, they'll start shipping out. But Tea Tree makes me feel like I'm home because Tea Tree now reminds me of Australia. And oh my God, it was so cool. They had so much stuff on like how Tea Tree was originally used and how the... Um, Indigenous people use it for antiseptic, but they literally have everything. They have bug spray and deodorant and skincare stuff and um, antiseptic cream and like everything. This is the hand lotion, hand and body lotion. This stuff is of the gods. And then this is the tea tree daily face wash with soothing chamomile. And this stuff is amazing. I will say I've had acne for years and what is the only thing that's worked without making my skin react more is tea tree. If you're dealing with acne and you haven't tried tea tree, I highly recommend it. I was using a tea tree soap for a while from Trader Joe's and I've been using this and this pretty much has been doing just as good. Um, so this is great. I also have a deodorant which is my favorite product I got from them but it's almost out and I'm very very sad and I like to smell it when, I wanna, when I'm going to be home in Australia. So I'm not using the rest of it but I will be getting like five more bottles when I go back to Australia if I'm not there permanently because oh my god this stuff is glorious. So if you guys want to email Thursday Plantation and see if they'll start uh, selling to the United States, I wouldn't mind that. In fact, I might do that. 
Um, and this last thing is something I made. This is one of the things. Me and my mom were trying to like do like a little personal skincare thing for ourselves. So with coconut oil and then we were putting um, essential oils from doTERRA in them. This one is lavender and sea salt. I haven't really used this one this much, but the one I've used, the two I've used is actually one with lemongrass and lavender and that's been amazing. I put it on my lips a little bit and then we, I have a crystal cleanser that's made from essential oils from a shop I worked at in Australia and I put that with the um, coconut oil and I put it on my third eye and it just, I feel like it clears. Maybe it's a complete and total, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh God, I am just, that, that word just completely just, um, when you think it's working and it's like a sugar pill and it, it works, but you know, like, you know what I'm saying. Um, but either way, it's really great and it's moisturizing for your skin so you can't go wrong. So this has been great. So we were doing that and I think at some point we'd like to maybe start our own little skincare line because holy shit, this smells good and you can't go wrong with coconut oil and all of our little awesome things. So anyway, that's something I've been exploring and that's been very fun. All right, up next um, are my favorite crystals I've been using. Now these are each pieces but i've been these are mm -hmm, mm -hmm, these are one of many pieces that i use so when i say i like rose quartz it's not specifically this piece but in general so well since i said that i'll start with rose quartz so rose quartz has been amazing for me recently i had a piece of it in my shower that i'd like to hold on my chest and i just felt kind of a sense of like self-love and healing and it was great having it in the shower because even again if you think it doesn't really work and you're just like making yourself believe it works it is a really good just even a reminder to like center into yourself and be like, I'm here with myself. Why can't I remember that? Placebo! Placebo is the word I'm looking for. Um, but I personally feel that this has helped me and I just, uh, it just feels so good. Anyway, so Rose Quartz, current fave. And the next one is Mukate. And I absolutely love this piece. This is kind of a unique piece. Most Mukate is like yellow and red and brown. And this one's just absolutely stunning. Um, I actually use this specifically for um, my sacral chakra and my root chakra and really healing creativity. Creativity. Blah, 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 blah. Creativity. Oh my God. Creatively. There we go. Um, I actually kind of think of this as a uterus with something growing in it. Um, and I think it's interesting because the uterus is the center for creation and if something's growing in it, it's creating. So there you go. That was, that was kind of my thought, but I love Mukate. Um, apparently it's very connected to Australia. It's a theme, you guys. I love Australia. Let's be real. Um, and I have lots of pieces of this, but this is one of my favorites and it's just so soft and smooth. And I love it. And it's great for grounding. So that's beautiful. Um, my next, favorite and actually kind of my all-time favorite um, right now is um, golden calcite I have a piece of this that Peter gave me for my birthday which is my favorite piece but then I have a couple other pieces as well and I just absolutely love this I mean look at I mean I don't know if you can see that but it's it's like oh, it's so beautiful and this is great for the solar plexus which is for the ego and empowerment and when I found this because it's honey calcite or golden calcite I find it has a sweetness to it I find this is actually very calming of anger but also empowering, kind of like a sunny day, but like honey. Yeah, just feel it really calms, calms the things. Next, this is an actual piece that I'm actually in love with because I love smoky quartz, but specifically I love this smoky quartz. This was a piece that a guy came into the shop I worked at in Australia and he actually digs these out of the ground in Australia, up in Byron, and he wanted to sell them to us. And so we were looking through them, but then he, let me and the manager just buy some on our own and they were so cheap. I think I got this for like $10 um, and it's absolutely stunning. So this is actually out of Australian earth, which I love. And I like to put crystals here to charge them and stuff. And Smoky Course is great for grounding and healing and meditation. And I just love it so much. So yeah. And then my be all end all crystal right now, which is just, I can't imagine not having it with me. I wear it, I set my crystals on it, I put it in my room. All the things selenite oh my god look how beautiful that, that's raw selenite can we just even if you don't believe in crystals can we just talk about how beautiful that is like holy crap and it's so cool if you put a light in it it like shines like a like a diamond except not a diamond it shines like selenite um this is so cleansing like oh my gosh this is great this is one of the few crystals that don't need cleansing because it's a cleanser but if you put this in 
any place, on anyone, wherever. It's just going to cleanse their energy completely. I was not feeling well when I worked at the um, crystal shop because I was taking on a lot of energy and I decided to start wearing selenite and immediately I was feeling better when I was coming home because selenite continually cleanses your auric field and your energy and so you can't take on energies that are bad for you. So that's been beautiful, but this is just, oh, my baby. I have another piece that my mommy got me for Christmas. Look at this. Oh my God. I just, I just, I just put it like this and I'm like, oh, I needed that. Oh, I needed that. I'm just going to put this on my lap. Okay. My light is going fast. So I'm going to do this really quickly. Actually, these are very quick. So the next thing is, I don't know if this, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I've been moving, so that's why. Um, my ukulele is my love. And Mario got this for me for Christmas. And I'm slowly but surely learning it. I don't have a teacher or anything. I'm just doing tutorials and learning the chords. And, uh, yeah. That sounds like the same thing. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I'm still working on strumming. <laughs> On my Instagram, I have a couple little videos of me just doing simple chords and singing. It's been fun, and I find it just like anything having to do with performing, like singing or dancing or acting. It just feels good. It feels really good. And so this is something that has been great because it's not about anyone else. It's about me, and it's awesome. And I can just step into that and give myself some love and just be creative, and I love that. And this is a, the Kala brand. Um, we did some research before we got it. I didn't know I was getting it before she got it for me for Christmas because um, she wanted to know what I wanted. Um, and this is an amazing brand. This is um, great. I think it was around $50, so it was really, really reasonable. So if you're interested in getting a ukulele and starting out, you can get a really nice ukulele for really inexpensive. And um, some of the, the, the ones out there just aren't great quality. You know, they're like plastic bodies or whatever, but this is this is wood and it's it's less lovely and I it's oh, I'm so thankful for it because it's my baby. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's two other things. Um, two a uh, couple of them are channels, but this is I wanted to show you. This is my apocalypse, and I'm not gonna tell you what's on it. But I have been watching this show called No Tomorrow, and I don't want to give it away. But the basic preface is the one of the main characters believes an asteroid is gonna hit the planet in eight months and so he has created this list and then along with this other person has created these lists of things they want to do before the apocalypse and they call it their apocalypse so me and Marielle decided to get books and have an apocalypse <laughs> so just just things you want to do I mean they were like ridiculous things on the show like it's an awesome show it's really inspiring to go out and follow your dreams you know like you know if the world was ending would you be still living the life you are now most people I'd say would probably say no you know they'd go out and help people or, you know, explore the world or whatever. Like it, it's, you know, whatever. So, um, I really like that idea. It's like, what would you do if, you know, there was no tomorrow? And I love that idea. So I decided to start my own little apocalypse. I actually have a much longer one, but I haven't put it in here yet. Um, and my mommy gave me this book. Um, very lovely. And it was interesting because she gave it to me and there's a little tiny, um, magician card from tarot and she's like yeah someone gave it to me and this is perfect and the keywords are vision decision and action visionary um uh in inventive uh consciously creating your reality and i was like oh my god this is the perfect book to put my apocalypse in so um the, the magician pulls the chain of the cosmic light situ uh switch the cosmic light la, 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 the cosmic light switch beaming the light of pure awareness in our lives yeah that's kind of hard to read but i was like oh that's so perfect so it's cute it's little i can put it in my purse and yeah i'm really excited so you guys will see on this channel i'm going to start making videos of things from my apocalypse so i can't wait to show you guys that that's gonna be really exciting some of them are scary like not to get off topic but i have like not a fear of water that's the wrong word a fear is no, i'm not really afraid of water I have a severe dislike of water to the point of where like the feeling of water going in my ears or being in, on my face feels literally like nails on a chalkboard. 
it's so weird. I don't know if it's a past life thing or because I identify with cats. Genuinely don't know. But um, yeah, I hate water. But there's things I want to do in water and I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to get past this. So one of the things on here is snorkeling and I'm going to do that in Australia. It's going to happen maybe at the Barrier Reef because I want to check that out and bring more awareness to what's happening at the Barrier Reef because holy crap. And finally, two channel YouTube channels that I have been just adoring um, and watching a lot. I have a lot of YouTube cha channels I watch and if you're interested in the YouTube channels that have really inspired me, you can go to my channel or my channel page and check out my suggested channels. I actually don't think I have one of these on there, which I do need to put on. But um, these two specifically are ones I've been watching a lot recently. The first one is That Vegan Couple. And like I said in a previous video, I am going vegan. Um, I know some people are like, go vegan immediately. What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But anything less than what our typical is, is going to help the planet. If everyone cut their meat intake by half, like, imagine what that would do to the meat and dairy industry. Like, it's unreal. Can you imagine if, like, half of that one just, like, tanked? It'd be amazing. So, personally, I mean, I am an advocate for, you know, let's not eat meat and let's not do dairy and eggs. But it's a process, you know. These things can feel like addictions because we're so used to them. And in our minds, they, they, they make us feel good. And so, it's important to take the steps that are, that feel best for you. Um... And there's many reasons to go vegan, the environment, um, your own health, the animals themselves. There's tons and tons of reasons. And honestly, any reason to go vegan is a good reason, in my opinion. Um, but it is something I'm doing. I haven't eaten meat for a while now. And um, I've had to cut out dairy because I just recently found out I'm lactose intolerant, so when. Um, so I'm doing, you know, almond milk and all that stuff. Um, I do eat eggs occasionally, but even that is is getting less and less every day so I'm so excited and I'm putting it out there too because I want people to hold me to what I want to do and I think that's awesome and I think we should all support each other in what we're doing so that's awesome so that vegan couple has been a huge component of me going vegan they're very very passionate they're ethical vegans so they don't wear leather they don't do any of that it's really amazing but not only is are they amazing on the vegan front they're amazing with their relationship and they're amazing with how they just live their lives and they're just awesome to watch and very inspiring. So check out that vegan couple. And then also Koi or Koi's Corner, which is um, a guy who lives out in California, total hippie type. He's going to be traveling in a van soon. But he has basically dedicated his life to spirituality and consciousness. And he is brilliant. He is so smart. And he just has a lot of amazing videos on everything from the chakras and source consciousness and different religions and just like all kinds of stuff he's a really cool guy he, he's just very open to learning lots of things and just seems to really have a great mind for it so definitely check him out he's been really great he's talked about ego death and um you know tripping and doing all this stuff he was one of those people just a normal human being he actually ended up going to prison at some point and it completely shifted his life and he's just completely changed as a human being so it's, it's pretty magical to watch that and he's very open about his journey which i think is so cool so check him out as well and i think that's it um yeah so if you like this video please subscribe and give it a like and comment if there's something that you've been enjoying recently, and I will maybe check them out. Um, there's a few things I would like to try out soon, so I will definitely do a review. I want to try out the Jade, blah, 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 the Jade Egg and um, the Diva Cup, or the Period Cup. I think that's something that's going to be really exciting to try out. It's great for the environment, and yeah, it's just it's just much better for, for, for your vagina, so that's exciting. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing those. So hopefully I'll have reviews for those soon. And I have a few friends who might be doing them as well. So maybe we can get like a, a multi review, which would be cool. So awesome. So yeah, all my social media link, la, 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 links are in the description below. Uh, what else? Um, I have a Patreon account and uh, a GoFundMe to explore and travel the world and to do more of what I'm doing and share the good love and the awareness and the yummy things. So if you want to support me in that and you don't want to do a monthly thing with Patreon, uh, you can go over to my GoFundMe if you'd like. You don't have to. Um, but yeah, 
Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Many blessings. Namaste. And don't forget, it's all about the soul journey. Bye! And don't forget, it's all, all about, about the soul, soul journey. journey.